In this video, I'll show you how to perform Fourier analysis in Excel. Excel uses fast Fourier transforms, as FFT, to transform a function of time into a function of frequency. It's extremely useful for some applications like the phenomenon of sound or studying neural pathways in the brain. If you click the data tab and do not see data analysis, you need to load the Excel toolpack. Click File, More, Options, Add-ins. Click the Go button next to Manage Excel Add-ins. Make sure the Analysis Toolpack checkbox is checked. Click OK. And when you go back to the Data tab, you should see that Data Analysis option. The first thing we want to do is to create and fill a column representing t. That is the time for each discrete data point. We're going to start at t equals 0 and go in increments of 0.1. For many FFTs, like the one here, the algorithm restricts n to a power of 2. For example, 32, 64, 128, and so on. I'm going to highlight 0 and 0.1, which is my first increment, and drag it down to A33. So I have a power of 2, I have 32 points. Next we want to fill a column representing the discrete signal. This might be obtained experimentally by sampling data digitally. You'll put one data point in each row. But for this example, I'm just going to put in a sine function to fill the spaces. You only have to put your function in once. My sine function is a function of time. That's my data point in A2. I'm going to drag and hold the little black square and pull that down the column to populate my f of t. Next, we want to do our actual analysis. Click the Data tab. Click Data Analysis, choose Fourier Analysis, click OK. For the input range, we want to select our function. That's in column B, from B2 to B33, and I put a colon separating those two values. And for the output range, I'm going to put that in column C. In the next column, I'm going to label my points so I have frequency access. I have 32 points, so I'm going to label those 1 through 32. Next, we need the total time for the data. If I subtract the last time from the first, get a total time of 3.1. Next, let's convert from point number to frequency by dividing by the total time. So I'm going to take my point and divide it by A34. If I put in a dollar sign between A and 34, then that will keep that value down the column. So we have our FFT output. Since it is a column of complex numbers, we're going to convert each value to an amplitude using Excel's IMAPS function. The IMAPS function returns the absolute value of a complex number. Now we can plot the frequency and the Fourier transform. Select both columns and insert a scatter plot with markers. Let's remove that title as it's not very helpful. Notice that this is a mirror image. So let's go back and set the x-axis to only show one half of the data. If we go back to our frequency and FFT columns, we can see where the data is repeating starts to repeat about here, so I'll select that. And here is our basic FFT chart. If you found the video helpful, please take a moment to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.